Welcome to Cape Inn Report. I'm Maureen Alward, your host. For Cape Inn Report, this time I'm speaking with Ken Reel and Matt Anzavino about the Chamber of Commerce update for fall. Um, Ken and Matt, thanks for coming to Thank Cape Inn Report. Thanks, Maureen. Pleasure to be here as usual. You know, what, what we'll do is uh, maybe just start with the summer because it's been sure, su yeah. such a great summer here and yeah, all the events. Review. and Sure, yeah. I, I'd, I'd love to start with that. Uh, this is my year of the presidency. I've had a blast. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, the summer's been amazing. Weather's been perfect for us this year. Uh, we started with the Waterfront Festival in Manchester. We had the Blues Festival in Gloucester. We had uh, the, uh, another, the, the another, other Waterfront another Festival. Another Waterfront uh, Festival at Stage 4 Park. Stage 4 Park. Phenomenal vendors uh, there. Good presence there. We did the block parties this year. The Chamber took over the block parties again. They were well attended. They so, were great. Yeah, great events yep. downtown. Uh, we had a, a series of business after hours, personally one of my favorite parts of the chamber. I think what's great about that is an opportunity for all of us really to get in tune with what's available in our community, mm -hmm. whether it be a tourist related or, or a retail related or a museum. Uh, we did one at the Trask House in Manchester, uh, we did one at the Cape Ann Museum. We've got one coming up October 20th at the Rockport Inn and Suites, so we'd love to have everybody come with us there. Where is that, by the uh, way? That's right in Rockport as you're coming in and right on your left hand oh, side. I hear so it's we, a nice place to stay. We've got a new fire pit area. We're excited to show that off. And, and Matt, that's your business. That we should just. Oh, 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 that, that we, is, thank you. Most people fishing. don't know. <laughs> yeah, so. uh, and, and I think that's one of the gems. We've done a lot of ribbon cuttings this year. Uh, River Bend over in Essex, a new restaurant that opened. Great. Uh, Studio Crepe in Rockport, you know, so to have a presence there, have the ribbons actually physically cut in front of these new businesses, I think it's great for them, I think it's great for the community, I think it's just great to really get that, that uh, know of what's in your community around. So mm -hmm. uh, we've got a bunch of stuff coming up. Uh, tomorrow night is our $25,000 game. Uh -huh. uh, that's uh, Lenny Linquata at the Gloucester House is hosting us for that. I think there's still a couple tickets left, not a lot. We had a right. waiting list then we got some in and I think we're close, so um, we're excited about that event too. So, and so then, Ken. well, so going forward, <laughs> right? Let's take it a, a week. Let's, let's take it a week further in time. We have a, a fantastic speaker this year for our Business Women's Fall Luncheon. Uh, that's next Thursday at the, the Beauport Hotel. And What's that's the date? Thursday, the thirteenth of okay. October, and uh, the speaker is Adrian Haslett Davis, who um, has such a fantastic, really. Um, inspiring story to tell as a survivor of the marathon um, bombing. Um, she was a dancer uh, who um, was affected uh, in, the, in the event and um, you know, lost her legs. Subsequently, she's dancing again. Um, she just completed the Boston Marathon earlier this year. Um, she's got an incredible story to tell. She's a fantastic speaker and we're honored to be able to have her uh, uh, join us next Thursday as an inspiring um, uh, woman business leader. And um, the, the event, by the way, is, is open to the entire community. This is not just chamber members. And oh, by the way, men are also invited. Absolutely. So um, we really are hoping for a strong turnout at, a, at that event. We already have over 100 people signed up. Um, you can sign up at the chamber, capeandchamber.com. Right. And where is that going to be again? It's at the Beauport Hotel. The Beauport, okay. Yeah. So that's a good chance for those folks who haven't been there yet. Maybe to get oh, over it's there. It's a beautiful absolutely. venue. Yeah, it's, it's just, beautiful just venue. gorgeous. So we're so pleased to be able to do it there. Um, next week is a huge week for Cape Ann and something that um, the community is starting to learn more about. The, the arts organizations are, are um, very much in tune with this and, and really have been leading it, and that's called Cape Ann Plein Air. And so this is a week long event which will um, really spotlight the incredible arts and culture heritage that Cape Ann has. Uh, this, this event has been a year in the making. I'm really uh, launched with a significant uh, donation by the Applied Materials Foundation. So we're indebted to that business for uh, doing that. And then with that, the decision was made to go ahead and, and run it this year. It, this is not a chamber event. We're part of a, of a very engaged steering committee that's, that's really, it's the arts organizations on Cape Ann. So it's North Shore Arts, um, Rockport Art Association, Rocky Neck Art Colony, Sea Arts. Essex merchants are, are very involved, and, and this year the, um, the Essex, uh, Payne Essex, is part of the event as well on the Saturday and Sunday at the end of the week. So 40 artists have been juried in, um, literally from around the country, out of 175 applicants. We have six locals, which is also fantastic, so we have some local uh, participation in that very preeminent um, artist pool. 
And then local artists also have a chance to participate in a couple of local painting events during the week. So we have a, an event in Manchester called a quick draw where you literally have two hours um, to paint. It's timed and there's a starting um, whistle or gun and an, and an ending point and that's it, you're done. That's and it's, yeah, it's, it's paintbrushes up and then those um, paintings will be available uh, for sale and viewing at the Trask House, the Manchester Historical Trask House, Wednesday evening of next week. And people can find out more about this on... Uh, on um, there's a plein air website, so it's called Cape Ann Plein Air. Uh, we have um, lots of information at the chamber. We have rack cards. Uh, there are program books, which are also available to anybody in the community. Um, you can get these at the chamber. You can get these at um, some of the arts organizations including um, North Shore Arts um, has uh, materials. So um, we hope that the community really um, follows this. It's gonna be a, a really great way to spotlight again what, what Cape, Ann, Cape Ann has done and what Cape Ann is doing today in the arts. And it, it's not all about painting either, it's also about the performing arts. Right. Um, Cape Ann Museum is involved, Gloucester Stage is involved, and, and so there's a lot of different arts and cultural organizations involved, and this is year one. Um, this, is, this is the first time we've done this. We've raised a tremendous amount of, of prize money, there's over $20,000 available for um, prizes, which, uh -huh. which really puts this in the, in the top tier of plein air um, competitions anywhere in the United States. Yeah. And so when you think about cultural destinations like a Sedona, Arizona, or a Telluride, Colorado, or a Santa Fe, New Mexico, where you have these, these, these great cultural destinations, there, Cape Ann is not a recognized name <laughs> when you put it up against those. This is going to put Cape Ann on the map in a whole different light. And um, so we're very happy to be part of this event, um, helping in the planning and the promotion of it. Um, we're, we're also well positioned because it's the Cape Ann Community Foundation, which is the new organization that, that is really managing the proceeds that will come in from the Cape Ann license plate that's really acting as the fiduciary agent um, for this as a true 501c3 tax exempt nonprofit. Mm -hmm. And so there's a nice connection there with um, the community foundation as well. Well, so, it just goes to the heart and soul of who we are here in Cape Ann anyway. It, it absolutely does. It's, a, it's um, going to be a great event. It's a event. fantastic uh, event. And so folks who are going to be driving around home um, will probably be seeing some artists that are out we there. We certainly hope so. Yeah. Over the course of the week, that the, the 40 artists will be painting through Friday, and then that work goes on exhibit and up for sale on Saturday at Rockport Art Association. That's when the gala is, and tickets are available online on the website. Um, but then also in Manchester, there will be many more painters on the Wednesday, and on Saturday, um, there will be many more painters locally in Essex for the Paint Essex weekend. So it's mm -hmm. all really, it ties together very nicely. It's a wonderful thing for all of the towns to be participating in exactly. too. It's a yes. really great. Um, I think too, he touched on the, the guide that came out. That's, I was looking at this earlier, it's fantastic because it, it puts a profile on all the artists that are involved. All 40 artists have a nice one page profile. I think it's great for people to pick up ahead of the event yeah. and really get in tune with who's right. coming in town and, and the quality of artists is unbelievable. Yeah. It's coming in. It's exciting. I've exciting been following stuff. some of the artists that they've been selecting, but I didn't know about the um, yeah. Yeah. the uh, the booklet. Yep, they're all highlighted in here. Um, so that that is just next week. So as um, uh, also Harvest Fest is Saturday the fifteenth in Rockport. As Harvest Fest starts to wind down, the gala event will wind up um, on that Saturday, and then Sunday will be the Paint Essex event, and then uh, the following week basically is the big event in Essex and that's the Clam Fest. Mm. And so that, that's a fantastic event in that community that, yeah. that focuses on a, on a key you know, yes. element there, <laughs> clams. Um, and we have a, a wonderful clam chowder competition. We had over a thousand people um, go through the chowder competition Where last year. Where is that year. held in Essex? Yeah, it, it's at the, in the town park right behind the, the police and the fire station. Oh, sure, yeah, that yeah. big area where the baseball field is, right, right near the library. Right, right, and it's a lot of fun. It's a great family event. Um, we have a lot of locals and visitors alike that come in for that event, so it's a great day for Essex. So that's in October? October date. 22nd, okay. so it literally is the following weekend. Right. So we're busy, <laughs> as we have been. Uh, and then we go into the holidays. You know, it, um, not many people know that, that we bring Santa um, to three of the four communities. Um, we work very closely with the community organizations and, and bringing Santa into Essex, Manchester, and Rockport. And we've been planning that since August. And we meet every other week to arrange for who is going to be Santa this year and how is Santa coming in. And 
looking at the economic side of it. So we very much want to promote um, shopping local mm -hmm. um, over the holiday season. And so right. there's we've, a whole promotional um, aspect of that certainly mm -hmm. up here. There absolutely is. And, and we've structured a number of events that, that are that go back in history with the chamber that um, really try to have people enjoy the holidays and, and also to embrace shopping locally and, and all the great retail that Cape Ann has to offer. It's one of the most important things that you know, residents around here can do to keep our local economy hopping. Sure. Rather than going down the line to the mall, there's so many wonderful shops up here in Cape Ann. You just visit a, a new town and go visit. Um, certainly right. such an important thing to keep dollars here. That's exactly right. We, we like to say 68 cents of every dollar that is spent locally stays in the local community. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a great way to, to pay back to what's going on locally. Um, so, so with these events, uh, we've been very busy in, in planning all of that. You know, we go right from Black Friday to, to sh small, Shop Small Saturday Sorry. on that Saturday. And literally the following week is when Santa starts to arrive um, in the communities. And, and we really do encourage local shopping. So it's, mm -hmm. it's a great time for us here as we transition from the summer and then into the fall. And we go right into the holidays. It seems almost impossible that time is flying by so fast, but it happens, and here we are, October already. It's been an amazing year. This yeah. is what, show number three for this you? This is or? show number three. I've got three more months as the president of the chamber. I, I, honestly, I wish I had 12 more. Uh, I wish we didn't have term limits. I wish it was something <laughs> we could extend out. It's just, what it's, are some it's of your wonderful. reflections on a, a year of being president? Well, I think Small Business Week was a great week. It was a busy week, but it, it touched every community. Uh, the, the, just the networking personally alone that week was phenomenal. Uh, I think the business after hours have been a, a favorite of mine. Uh, just because being able to see some of the, the hidden gems or things that you don't know about on Cape Ann mm -hmm. and being able to really, you know, in the hotel industry, being able to share those with my guests has been, been great. I think the effort on the ribbon cuttings has been phenomenal. When a new business comes in to recognize that business and put them out to the masses immediately, I think there's, there's a positive effect. I think that's a great thing that the Chamber is doing for, for local business right now. Um, Overall, I, I just think that this community is, is saturated with great people. I think it's saturated with really good business. And uh, it's, been a, it's been a pleasure being involved with it this year. It really has. So. Great. That's great. Mm. Thanks, so Matt. So I'll talk a little bit about this, if I oh, could. Oh, sure. We can't Let's <laughs> not forget. Uh, this, this has not been on the news or in the paper uh, much recently. We're, we're a little bit in, a, in kind of a quiet stage with the license plate. So. It, so again, the registry is literally making the plates. The checks are being slash have been cashed. We're so pleased to hear. Uh, we don't have a specific date from the registry as to when these will be available, but the time frame is the end of the year. Mm -hmm. So when we think about two, two main things that have happened here in, in Matt's term, it's, it's really putting the Cape Ann license plate on the road. This, this should happen. Yeah. And the other is the whole creation of Cape Ann Plein Air happened um, during Matt's mm -hmm. um, presidency, which are two amazing um, milestone right. um, events for They're Cape Ann. They're both phenomenal, too, for Cape Ann and, and really yeah. putting Cape Ann. I mean, what great marketing when this I starts know. riding around and up and down the highways and, and a Plein Air event and the, the magnitude that that is. This is it's fun. It's fun. We wanted to make an impact this year. I think Ken and the staff of the chamber has been amazing. They make it very easy for us to do what we do. So. Well, it's such an amazing year. Thanks for all your work um, with the Chamber, and uh, good luck going into the, uh, to the new year. Um, that's all the time we have um, for this show. Really? Oh. Yes. <laughs> that's it. That's we want it. to talk about next year. <laughs> I know. Well, well, you have to come back, as always. Matt Anzavino thank and you. Ken Riel, thank you so much for being on Cape Ann again. Maureen. It's been a pleasure. Until the next time on Cape Ann Report, take care.